majority of people and a lot of people, and this isn't a dish, but it's just the truth, it's the reality of the fact, everybody spends a decent amount of their brain worried about money, making money, paying bills, uh, taking care of their kids, are they going to have enough money to pay for their kids, health insurance, car note, lights, everything. A lot of people absorb themselves with this, and I say especially in America. And what I can't seem to get is why when you go to other countries and other places around the world that are poorer and don't have this and they don't have that, that these people are fundamentally uh, more happier with what they have. And you look at you look at some of the indigenous cultures or what have you, some of the people that still live in the woods and out in harder places and things like that, and they have to go gather their food. Think about that. They are not, they don't even think about money. Like, <laughs> they're just worried about where their next meal is going to come from. Like, they're out hunting, running. Like, it's a completely different mindset. It's a completely different world. And I don't get how we have come to this situation. There's social media. There's uh, our society in general. There's a status associated with, with, with money and the car that you drive and everything else. Um, it's just, it's so overblown. And I think about, and I bring this up because I was thinking about my situation today because I work at a restaurant and uh, I made more money in one week at my engineering job than I have at this restaurant in three months, right? Right, so, but here's what's crazy about it. I've had a clearer mindset, and maybe it's just because I'm getting older or whatever. I've had a clearer mindset, and I've had a clearer vision of what I've wanted out of life compared to when I was working those jobs. And maybe that's just time, maybe that's just what has accumulated or what have you of me getting older and accumulation of things obviously but I just think about that and it's almost crazy to me because yes I'm making more money yes um, I, 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 I in my mind I know I want to make more money but money isn't the thing for me money doesn't motivate me money literally has zero motivation for me uh, to a certain degree I care more about my throw, and I care more about progressing in lifts. Uh, I care more about what my body is able to do than I care about money. Now, money would enable me to be able to do these things at a higher level, obviously. Maybe I could buy some PEDs and juice up, ha 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 ha. Uh, but, because drugs aren't cheap and the, the good drugs are expensive, but I just think about it in the sense of with most people is money the solution and it's not um, money is the problem and not knowing the direction that you want to head in is also the problem and what leads people to get frustrated uh, and feel like they're stuck getting getting to feeling like you're stuck is a is a hard thing today at work a young lady came up to me and I was thinking about this concept that I had worked here for three months and I still hadn't made as much money as I had made in a week. And I was kind of laughing about it. I wasn't too upset about it or anything, but she stopped and talked to me for 10, probably about 10, almost 15 minutes. And I appreciated that a lot. That really made my day. It really, really did. And I just wonder, and it's a big wonder, it's you're so caught up in in money whether it's money what you got to do what you this and that uh that do you make time to like stop and listen to somebody i i i don't know like and i will do my i do my best to do things like this and like actively listen and try to understand where somebody's coming from especially when it comes to politics politics is very very fascinating to me but it's such a it's such a hard thing to take that especially when you're so worried about you're so absorbed in 
what you want to do um, that you almost can't smell the flowers like you got to stop and be able to smell the smell the flowers and appreciate and appreciate the people around you and appreciate what you got because you have something you got a lot you have a lot more than a lot of everybody in America has a lot more than a lot of people they really really do and I think that this gets super lost because we're so absorbed in what we don't have and then what other people have yeah. uh, and that's a hard thing to that's a hard thing to overcome it, it really is a hard thing I see all these nice cars and things like that and uh, I when I'm in the drive-thru at this restaurant that I work at and to me what I thought about today was I'm just as worthy as the next person of driving that car driving that Mercedes Benz or that Audi or whatever the fuck it is I'm just as worthy as anybody else I, I and even matter of fact I deserve to drive that car and I think about that with the with the hammer throw uh, uh, some people say that you can't have it all you, you can't you can't do everything or what have you and I've thrown that mindset to the window a long time ago I think that you can't have the money I think that you can't throw 80 meters I think that you can be strong and lift a lot I think that you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to however it takes more uh, I won't even say that it takes more but it's just a shifting of the mindset of moving from oh I can't have this and I can't do this to anything is possible and anything is accomplishable but also taking a step back and knowing that it's not the end of the world if you don't have it this second if I don't have everything that everyone if I don't have uh, uh, this because that's how you find a way to be happy that's happiness right there is knowing what you want working towards it understanding what it's going to take to get what you want and also realizing that what you want or what you're trying to accomplish isn't the most uh, it's not it's not the end of the world and it's not the most important thing there's still people man there's still there's still plenty of people that are suffering that are a lot worse and we don't have it that bad we really don't have it that bad and I just I, I was kind of chuckling to myself because I wasn't frustrated when I found this out when I realized this the other day but it just uh, what with and I was talking to my buddy when I realized that the amount of money that I made was comparable to and you know it's nothing to be upset about or want to you know throw a brick against a wall and freak out or anything like that it's just knowing that that is the truth and how do we move forward from it how do you move forward from anything right and how do you keep it moving because you can't get bogged down in one cost in one concept life is such a multifaceted thing that it's not about money it's not about the cars it's not about having things uh, having things is nice, but you got to think about the relationships that you have with people and uh, how that, how important that is to life as well. So it's a hard concept to wrap your head around. It really is, but I've gotten to the point now to where I don't think I'm not so absorbed with money 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 it crosses my mind and i get bogged down in it just like anybody else does but by the same token i think about it and look at it and i get to go to the gym i still get to go work out i still get so many of these things that are such first world uh pleasantries if you will that a lot of people don't that for me to get bogged down in anything and for me to be so focused on it and so infatuated with uh, doing that one thing that I don't stop and look around and look up and look who's around me and take a breath and realize that it's not that important. <laughs> it, it, and not that it's not that important. It's just not that serious at the end of the day. And there's no point in you putting a bunch of negative energy into the things that aren't the way that you want them.
And that's a lot easier said than done thing. It is. It really, really is. But that's just about all I got. You already know what the deal is. Run on your toes. Keep your mouth closed. Lock your toes and save your throats. And most importantly, let's fight another day and we get out of here.